All right, so in the spirit of it being May 4th, I decided to do a Star Wars theme tutorial, and we're gonna be doing a light speed tutorial. I just posted this here on my Instagram at Ducky3D. You can go check it out if you want. Today's video is brought to you by Sketchfab. If you want to buy 3D assets, sell 3D assets, they have an incredible store. Go check them out, link in the description. Last thing, this is one of 100 project files that I just put up as my next product. It's 100 VJ loops for concert visuals, things like that. So for you motion designers can go in, get that pack of 100 loops, play with them, do whatever you want. That is also linked in the description. Everybody on Patreon gets that 50% off. Now let's get into the tutorial. All right, this one's gonna be quick and easy. Make sure that you click on this little camera icon and that you're in the EV render engine. Make sure that Bloom is on. Now let's go ahead and shift A and we're going to add in a cylinder. Now I'm gonna hit R, X, 90, and we're gonna hit S, Y, 8. That's scaled it on the Y axis by eight. I'm gonna hit tab, click on the little face selection, click this guy, I'm gonna hold down shift, click that guy, hit X and click faces. All right, we're gonna be using a particle system to do this, so let's go ahead and make our particle. So shift A, and we're gonna get in a UV sphere, and we're gonna bring him over here, and I'll say bring him a little bit this direction out of the way. And let's stretch him out. So let's stretch him on the Y by quite a number and then scale him down just so he's a manageable size. And then we'll scale him out some more. So that's where he is now. Let's go into the rendered view and let's give him a glowing material. So go to the material selection here, click that from principled, go to emission and give it you know a brightness right about there and make it kind of blue. You can use a reference, but I'm gonna keep it kind of blue here from what I remember light speed looking now. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go back to solid view and let's go ahead and start a particle system. So click here, click the little plus icon and click here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit render, go from path to object so that we can actually have an object in our particle system. Right here on instance, click your sphere and that makes them look all weird and crazy. We're gonna go ahead and click object rotation. And if you have your object rotating this way, then it should look fine. But of course you can always rotate your object to do whatever you want it to do. So. Right here, let's go back to the particle system and turn up scale randomness, so that's gonna look good. And then bring our scale down some as well. Let's see how it looks in the render view. So it's looking like that. If you don't want this here, just to get it out of the way, the big cylinder, add a wireframe modifier and bring your thickness to zero. So this is what we have now. Kind of looks like light speed, but we're not quite finished. I'm gonna bring that wireframe thickness back because now we're going to extend this to make it a looping animation. So click on them, hit M, make a new collection and just call it whatever you want. I'm gonna keep it at collection two. And this next part is very important. Go to shift A, collection instance, collection two, and then hold down control so that you can see it's snapping and snap the edge of these two together so that they're both touching very closely. Shift D, do that again, and then Shift D, do that again. I think that's all we're gonna need for now. Now let's go ahead and add in our camera. So I'm gonna hit the tilde key, go to the front view, and then I'm gonna Shift A and add in a camera. I made it go in the front view so that the camera is pointing forward here by default. I'm gonna hold down Control so he snaps to the view, bring him to the edge of the cylinder, which would be here on negative eight for me. And then now we are here. Let's go ahead, go back and remove the wireframe. I mean, make the wireframe at zero. So let's animate this guy very quickly. So click on the camera. I'm gonna give this uh, 40 frames. Actually, I'm gonna give it 80 frames. We might need to go fewer, let's see. Very important, hit the left arrow to go to the frame zero. Click on the camera, click on this little icon right here and go to the very end and give it positive eight to snap him to the very edge of our cylinder. So if you will bring up the thickness, you can see he's at the edge of the cylinder. So that's that's exactly what we want. For me, that's positive eight. Click on your camera and apply that. So now our camera will be traveling through our cylinder. So now let's make this look like hyperspace. If you can see, he'll be traveling through just like that. And then it's a seamless loop, um, but it doesn't look quite right. Click on your camera, click on the little green camera icon. I'm gonna hit spacebar to press play and bring the focal length really far back. So I'm gonna give it like something like this. So, so far this is looking really, really cool. These might be a bit long, but that could just be a more stylized decision for you. If you want to change that, you can always change the scale of your particle. So something like this, and then I'm going to add more particles in the particle system. So something like 
looks like I'm adding to around 2000. And then now we have that classic light speed look that we're trying to go for, for this Star Wars style. What you can also do is make your particles even smaller to really sell that effect even more. So for, for me, I'm gonna bring the hair length down to make these even smaller and then bring up the number of the particles just like this, go through. So this for you can just be whatever settings you like for your warp speed to look. And then I'll say bring that cylinder and make it a little bit, make that sphere a little bit longer to sell that warp speed effect. So now I have this going on. So this is kind of the majority of it. One thing I wanna do, I don't like how I can see all this bunched up over here. I want, to, I want it to kind of look like it's fading away. So I'm gonna add a little volume trick to this. So shift A, mesh, and add in a cube. Hit S8 to scale and fit this whole scene. Hit M and move him to collection two so it's doing all that. We're gonna add a special little material to this. So hop on over to the shading tab. And on your cube, make sure your cube is selected. Click new, delete principled, shift A, search volume, and get principled volume. Put the volume node into volume. And now it's starting to fade away. I'll bring my density down just a little bit. And then I'll click on the sphere, bring up the strength of the sphere. So that's looking really good. And now we have a warp speed animation loop. Loops seamlessly, looks really cool. It's not exactly how it looks in Star Wars, but it's as close as I can get with my work. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned some stuff and feel free to use this for whatever you want.